Hello, my name is Pixel, and today I want to teach you how to use one microphone on a dual PC streaming setup for both game chat and stream chat for free. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Dual PC streaming setups don't have to be difficult, and I feel like every time I try to learn something new about them, the tutorials are just more complicated than they need to be. So I want to show you how to use one mic on your dual PC streaming setup easily for both game chat and stream chat. Let's hop into it. Now, let me preface this by saying, if you haven't already watched my dual PC streaming video on how to set up just the basics, please go watch that first, then come back to this video. This is an advanced tutorial to show you specifically how to route one microphone into both chats, okay? The original video will show you how to route your game audio, how to route your notifications, your music, as well as your streaming microphone into stream, but I didn't talk about how to specifically get your streaming mic into game chat when you're playing on your gaming PC. So that's what I want to show you now. There's actually three different ways to set this up. And the most obvious is the first one, and that's to use two microphones, one for the streaming PC and one for the gaming PC. Now you want the good mic to be in the streaming PC because that's where your viewers are, right? They want the good audio experience. Now you could just use an easy USB mic and just put it into the gaming PC and just have it set as your default. And I think you guys can figure that out for yourself. Just have like a Blue Yeti plugged into the gaming PC and you'll be good to go. But that's not why we're here. We're trying to use one mic. So we're gonna move on to step two, which is actually going to be using hardware. So what I do, and this is the most preferred method, but it is the most cost expensive wise. This requires two USB interfaces with one microphone. So what I use is a Yamaha MG12XU mixer. It's a fancy way to say there's a lot of mics that can go into this. It's just a USB mixer. Now, any mixer that has an auxiliary send or an FX send on the board, as long as it's a USB mixer, can do this. Now, what an FX send or an auxiliary send does is it takes the microphone that's plugged into the mixer and then it sends it to the other interface. That's what it's called, an FX out, auxiliary out, send it's all the same thing and it will take the exact same audio that stream is hearing and sending it over to the gaming pc now the only catch is you will need another usb interface xlr interface that can take that signal so what i use on the gaming pc is a scarlett 2i2 that is the second generation and it's an xlr interface and all you do is plug into the fx out and then plug it in to the gaming pc so the easy way to describe it is Main mixer goes into the streaming PC and your good mic plugs into that. Then the FX send or the auxiliary send plugs into the mixer that's on the streaming PC and then gets sent out to the secondary interface on the gaming PC. Now, both interfaces will be hearing the same mic, the same quality and no lag, no network, all hardware, there's no quality loss. And this is the best way to do it and you can do it pretty cheap. I'll leave some links or some good USB interfaces in the description down below if you wanna check that out. Now, the reason that I like doing this method is because it's actually easier to do this than to use software because it's only two cables that you're using. All you're using is the XLR that plugs into the microphone like my Shure SM7B and then another quarter inch stereo balanced cable to XLR into the secondary interface and that's it. There's, it's only two cables and it seems like it's a lot more complicated. And I made a diagram actually for this. If you would like to go into the Discord, it's free for you to download. All you gotta do is hop right into the Discord with the link in the description down below and I'll probably pin it in the comments as well for ease of access. All you have to do is go into the free stuff channel in my Discord and just click on it and you can download them right there. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to keep coming back and trying to find the spot you're looking for in the video. It will literally have a step-by-step -step process as well as a routing diagram diagram to show you how to send your mic from one PC to another. Now, the last version that we're going to talk about here is actually going to be using a software called Voice Meter. It's a free software that you can download. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to click on that. Go over, click it, download it, make sure when you install it, you restart your computer so the software runs properly. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to use the network to send your mic from the streaming PC over to the gaming PC. And I'm going to do a step-by-step -step installation of this for you so it's very easy to set up and i will also have a step-by-step -step diagram for this setup as well in the discord so if you want that for free just hop in the discord we're actually closing in on 400 members i believe which is awesome 
Thank you for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the video and you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps grow the channel and it also tells YouTube that I'm doing a great job. I just want to give a quick thank you to K9, who streams on Twitch as well. He actually made this tutorial over on Reddit as a step by step, but no one ever turned it into a video. And I think a video explanation is a little bit easier. If you like Diablo and you like kick ass music, go check him out. Thank you so much, K9, for this. And without further ado, let's hop into the step-by-step -step process to set up one mic, two PCs, free software. Okay, this is Voice Meter from VB Audio. Just go to vbaudio.com. I left the link in the description down below for you. Uh, make sure you're on Voice Meter, and then just go down and find the install. Click it, run it, restart your computer. Once you've installed it, open it up. And before we do anything else, we're gonna go down to the speaker down here. And we're going to right click on this and we're going to go to open sound settings. Everything here that we have set up before, assuming you've already watched my dual PC streaming setup video, is going to change to the voice meter settings and we don't want that. So you're going to go back into your sound control panel and we're going to make sure that whatever your headphones are, are set as your default. I already changed mine back. So make sure this is my mixer. This is my Yamaha MG12XU mixer. Make sure you click set as default and apply and then go to recording. Now, this is the one that's going to get a little tricky. Make sure that you also have your mic set as your default, okay? You don't want voice meter running as your default for this. Once we've done that, just go ahead and close all of that stuff. The reason you don't want that set as your default is because you need your actual hardware to be seen by Windows. Otherwise, if voice meter is seen, then what's going to happen is that your hardware is going to go into voice meter first and then go into windows but you want windows to see it first and then have voice meter it's about the order in which the hardware is seen so make sure that windows sees your microphone first and your headphones first before all of it goes into voice meter so the first thing as you can see it's already picking up my microphone is that we're going to do is we're going to go into hardware input one this is your microphone okay we're going to make sure that this is set to whatever mic you're using i'm using an xlr microphone the shure sm7b plugged into my mgxu which is right here click the little drop down one now you're going to see a lot of options and basically you want to find the wdm version of your microphone if it doesn't have that make sure you've updated the drivers don't stress about it too much just make sure that you can use wdm MME is like the bottom rung version of how your microphone runs. So make sure you select WDM if you have the option. Once you've done that, we're going to go over to the hardware out and we're going to select A1. And now if you have a mixer like I do, you're going to select the ACO. I don't know if that's how you properly pronounce it. The ACO version of your mixer. These are the best running version of the drivers that you can get for this. And now you're going to see that it's selected to my mixer. This is whatever your headphones are going to be. Okay. It goes ACO, WDM, then MME. So if you're using Astros or HyperX or whatever your headphones are, just make sure that it goes ACO first, then WDM, and then MME. If you do WDM on both, I was having a confliction issue with this earlier. I was having an issue where I would select WDM here and then WDM over here, and it would actually make my microphone bug out. So make sure that you listen back to your microphone, which I'll show you how to do in a bit. Now that we have your mic input set and your hardware out set. The first thing we're going to do is turn off A and turn on B. Now, the reason we're turning off A is because there are two outputs here. Output A is going to be hardware out and that's going to send on the computer itself. Now, we don't need to do that because we've already reset the hardware as the default in Windows. We already fixed that issue, so we don't have to worry about A. What we are going to look at is output B, which is a virtual out, which is how this whole setup works. It sends it over the network to the gaming PC. So just to recap, let's make sure that your hardware is set to your microphone here and that it's selected to B for the virtual out, and then that your A1, don't worry about A2, is set to the hardware. Now, all of this is happening on the streaming PC. I'm going to make sure that I have in post edited the streaming PC listed right above the face cam here. So you guys know that this is the streaming PC. I also set different backgrounds on each computer and we'll have the gaming PC also listed as that. Now we're going to go into what's called VBAN. This is where everything is going to be sent over the network. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that VBAN is turned on. And now incoming streams, we don't have to worry about this is because that's the receiving side. That's going to be on the gaming PC. We're going to the outgoing streams because we're sending the microphone signal 
out to the gaming PC. What you're going to want to do is turn this on and then select source bus B. Now, the reason we're selecting B is because that's what we select right here. So now source bus B is specifically going to be hearing this from this hardware input, meaning it's choosing source B. Now, one crucial thing that is incredibly important that I messed up when I first started doing this is that whatever you name this, you have to make it the same thing on the gaming PC. So I just made it all capitals, mic, M-I-C, all caps. Real easy, real easy to remember. That way it doesn't get messed up later. Now, the only other two things we have to worry about are the IP address to where it's going to, that's the gaming PC, and the net quality, we want optimal. So just make sure this is set to optimal. And the IP address, you're going to find this. This is going to be different from what you see here. This is my computer. It's going to be different on your network. So now we're going to go over to the gaming PC. Okay, so now we're on the gaming PC. As you can see, there's a different background. So we know how to differentiate the two computers. Now, if you look right away, you can already see that my microphone is coming through. That's because I've already set it up. First, we're going to focus on making sure that we get the proper IP address. So make sure that on the gaming PC, you take this number and we go back over to the streaming PC and we put it in down over here. This has to be the same number. So as you saw, it was 120 on the gaming PC. We put 120 over here. And now over on the gaming PC, we're going to take the same IP address from the streaming PC and put it on the incoming streams, right? Because now we're receiving that microphone signal. So make sure this is on, see how it's also labeled the same thing, capital M I C. And then the IP address is from dot 21. The only other thing that you have to do at the end of this setup is go back into OBS. Now I know there's going to be a bit of a weird thing to look at here, but go back into OBS and make sure that your mic source is set back to your mic. So go into whatever mic source you have added, go into properties, and then make sure it's set back to your mic because it will actually go back to default once you install voice meter. And the same thing for your desktop audio, go into properties, make sure you set it back to whatever your headphones are. That way that OBS will still hear your mic and you can still hear everything coming back to your headphones. That was one thing I forgot to mention when I ended the recording. So post editing, Danny, there you go. Now again, net quality is optimal. Now we have the incoming stream set up and we want to make sure that the net quality is optimal again. And we also want to make sure that the destination is to in one. This is where it's going to be receiving the microphone. You can go ahead and close this. We are now done with the streaming PC and we're focusing on the gaming PC. Now this is the only part that gets a little confusing because we have to make sure that we are sending the signals to the right spot. Before we configure anything else, let's make sure that we have our audio configured properly from the dual PC setup still because you've installed voice meter on the gaming PC as well. Let's go down to the speaker, make sure that the Elgato is still selected as your output. And we're also going to go back into sound settings, go into the sound control panel and make sure that the Elgato is set as your default. This has to be your output. Otherwise you won't hear the game audio in OBS. Now for the next part, you're going to see obviously voice meter output right here. It's seeing my microphone coming in from voice meter, which means this is good. That means that the network is now sending my signal over from the network, from the streaming PC to the gaming PC. Now that we make sure we have everything set to default, the next thing we're going to do is just make sure that this is also selected to B. We do not want to turn on A because if we turn on the A, what's going to happen is you're going to get a really bad echo. And it's really hard to talk like this because I'm hearing myself back through my headphones. So don't turn on A because what's going to happen is you're going to get an infinite loop, okay? So only turn on B. You don't need to worry about anything else. Don't select your hardware input. You don't need to turn this on. And there you go. Now you have successfully routed the audio from the streaming PC over to the gaming PC. And all you have to do is whatever game you're using, go into the settings and make sure that voice meter out is selected as your communication device. So for example, I'm going to open Audacity. This is a free audio recording program, pretty dated looking, but it still works fantastically. And that's actually how I record all of my audio when I'm doing these videos, except for when I'm recording directly into OBS like this. So when you open Audacity, go right here and make sure that you select voice meter output and then you're good to go. Click the record button. And if you want to listen back to make sure everything sounds OK, you can see that it's recording my voice right now. Make sure that the voice meter input is selected. Obviously, make sure that your output is also selected to the Elgato. We can now confirm that the audio is playing back through into your headphones latency free. Click the record button. And if you want to listen back to make sure everything sounds okay, so you can see that it's recording my voice right now. And there you go. 
Now you have confirmed that the microphone audio is coming over from the streaming PC into the gaming PC, and we have also tested that it is directly coming into here. One little side note, I want to make sure that if you do select the hardware out up here on the gaming PC, you will have to route everything through voice meter. That's why I said don't don't turn this on because you will mess up the audio routing. All right, so what I'm going to do before I show you how to get it into any game is that you're going to go into the recording of the sound device here. And I'm actually going to disable my hardware interface to make sure that voice meter is the only one that's running. As you can see, voice meter output, this is your microphone setting right here. And you're gonna click okay. Boom, now it says the default. And we're actually gonna go into a lobby of Cold War. We're gonna make sure that everyone can hear me. Okay, so we're in the lobby of Cold War right now. And for any game that you're gonna be doing this for, all you gotta do is go into the game settings, go to audio, and then scroll down to where you find voice chat and then find your microphone device. And then from here, you can go into the default communication device or voice meter. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I just leave it on default because it's already going to select the correct one. And then if you want to make sure it works, just click on the little record microphone check, microphone check. and you can hear that it's sending it over. Cold War does not use the best audio voiceover audio quality. So the only reason it sounds like that is because it's a Cold War issue. It's not a voice meter issue. Your microphone is still going to sound like this. It's all game dependent. Nothing will be as good as discord audio. So make sure that if you're using discord on your streaming PC, you'll use your stream mic. Okay. And the easiest way to check is to just invite one of your friends into your party and then ask them if they're here. What up, dude? Can you hear me? Yo, you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, say hi to the YouTube for up. everybody because you're, uh, oh, you just woke up. All right. Well, yep, you're Hello, in the video. YouTube. So. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, the video has been successful and the mic is now coming from the streaming PC into the gaming PC using voice meter. All right, now that we have your mic routed from the streaming PC into the gaming PC and you can be heard in game chat with any game you're playing, the last step is to make sure that your mic sounds good. Feel free to check out the video that I made where you can make any mic you use sound professional. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe to help the channel out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for your support. Peace.